My videos are for entertainment only. All source materials in my videos are from the public domain and comply with the USA Fair Use and UK Fair Dealing guidelines. Hi everyone, Celt News here. What I would like to know is, what does Her Majesty the Queen think about Meghan's HRH sweatshirts, inspired by Meghan and labelled as one of their best sellers in the Mirror Meg collection? This is unprecedented and I would just wonder what she thinks. I wonder if she actually knows. She was supposed to have closed down everything when she married yeah. Prince Harry, uh, but she still has carried on. She just gives it to others to do on her behalf. So will she be copywriting HRH? And also, it doesn't mean, I suppose, that it stands for Her Royal Highness, though obviously that's what she intends it to mean. So selling everything, even down to when the merching when they go on actual royal tours and royal appointments. So when is this going to end? When is the Queen or Charles going to stop this stuff from being put out there? I've gone to the website and it looks like people are really thrilled buying these. So she's making money off the HRH and started at a very young age. Her first film she made, wasn't it? In, in her backyard with her friends, Her Royal Highness. And the HRH that she's using... Obviously, it can't be copyrighted because HRH could stand for anything, a person's initials. But I, from what I've been reading, she, she cannot use something which is used within the royal family, like HRH, and be selling something with a view to letting people think that it is approved by the royal family. So there's information here about the royal warrant. Appointment as a purveyor to Her Majesty, known as the royal warrant, gives the holder permission to use the designation and an image of the crown, along with the company's name on signs, letterhead, packaging and labels. Well, we know that she's already using her elaborated version of... Um, the royal symbol on her Twitter page. And I'm sure there must be some law against her copywriting the title um, Duchess of Sussex or the Sussexes. And as we know, the meeting to have their titles taken away, I know that it's ultimately up to the Queen to take the titles away, but this, the Brighton and Hove Council can put pressure on the Queen to remove their titles and can refuse to have them there and refuse to acknowledge their titles. So she is, let's face it, by her putting these t-shirts, quite tacky t-shirts with HRH on them, on her website, she's also side by side got these other adverts of the clothing that she's wearing when she's doing a royal tour or a royal appointment. So by doing that, she's it's a very grey area. She is making it look as if she's got royal permission to, to use the HRH. For her, it means Her Royal Highness. But it also goes on to say that when in doubt, you must contact the Lord Chamberlain's office. Here we are. Guidance on the use of royal arms, names and images. The following booklet summarises the legal position governing the use for commercial purposes of the royal arms, royal devices emblems and titles and of photographs, portraits, engravings, effigies and busts of the Queen and members of the royal family. Guidance on advertising in which reference is made to a member of the royal family and on the use of images of members of the royal family on articles for sale is also provided. The Lord Chamberlain's office will be pleased to provide guidance when it is unclear as to whether the use of arms etc. may give the impression that there is a royal connection. I think HRH gives the impression that it's a royal connection, especially when it's alongside um, royal appointments. But the thing is, um, she is classed as a royal at the moment. If she divorced, she probably wouldn't be able to do this. The thing is, she shouldn't be able to do it now anyway. It's uh, Nobody else does this. It's widely accepted and common knowledge that once you marry into the royal family, certain things you don't do. And you definitely don't sell them. And making money out of events that are supposed to be charitable and to highlight some charity or concern, you do not advertise clothes or promote clothing in any way that you're selling on a website that shouldn't exist, that was 
She was told to close it down when she married into the family. Should Megan be using HRH and selling t-shirts? And let me have your thoughts on it. Okay, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.